Welcome to a video tutorial of Celebration, a Northwest dance for one or more dancers. It was written in 2008 as a celebration of the variety of different steps found in Northwest Morris. I always believe that teams should make dancers their own, using their own style to incorporate a dance into their repertoire. However, Celebration has been used very successfully as a mass dance, and therefore the rhythm of the clogs, i.e. the steps, and the position of the dancers need to be preserved as taught in order to ensure it sounds clean and the dancers don't dance into each other. The tune that you use isn't important. However, the chorus is eight bars long and the figures are all 16 bars long. So you need a tune that fits nicely into 24 bars. I decided that for this tutorial, I'd use a video of me dancing the celebration for the John Gasson jig competition in Sidmouth. So here's the dance all the way through that you can use to dance along with once you've learnt it. Chorus this time. Balesworth. Stamp. West Breton. Slow sidestep. So we'll start by looking at the chorus. It's split into two halves, both identical except that the first half starts left foot and the second half starts right foot. The path that you travel is a rectangle, three steps along the long side and two steps along the short sides. So with no foot changes we get left, right, step left, polka, step back right, step back left and two kicks starting right foot next time we get step right left step right polka step back left step back right and two kicks so you finish the chorus with the left foot in the air ready to start the next figure and all of the figures start with the left foot so now to look at the arm movements so starting with the arms held just slightly out from the body, they go across, out, across, up with the polka, 
then down to the bottom. So they go then up and out the kicks. Across, out, across, up. So down, down, and up, and out. Now we'll look at the figures. There are six in total and should be learnt in this order so that when you're doing a mass dance out, if someone doesn't hear the call, then they should know what's coming next anyway. The first figure is called Failsworth and is taken from the chorus or step up of the dance called Failsworth as taught by Trevor Owen to Wakefield Morris in the early 1980s. The shape of the figure is just a straight line going forwards and then you return along the same line back to where you started. The steps are pretty straightforward and should be familiar to most Northwest dancers. We start with two steps forward followed by two kicks and then two polkas facing the front. Then two polkas to turn by the right shoulder to face back the way you've come and two more polkas on the spot. And then repeat again left foot start. So it's left, right, two kicks, two polkas on the spot two polkas to turn by the right shoulder to face front again and two more polkas on the spot finishing with your weight on your right foot ready for the chorus and to look at the hands for the walking forwards they're down and stay down up for the two kicks and stay up for the two polkas facing front going down at the end to do alternate that same hand going up as foot goes across and then both hands up in the air again for the last two polkas. Down at the end of that to stay down for the walking, up with the first kick and stay there. They stay there for the two polkas, down on the last step of the polkas, turn alternate hands, and then both up for the final two polkas. And down, ready for the chorus. The second figure is walk and stamp. There's no particular source for the movement, but it adds a different rhythm into the dance. The shape of the figure is a line going directly to your left and then to your right. So we'll look at the steps involved in the figure. It starts left foot as always and moves to your left with four walking steps. So that's left, right, left, right. We now stamp the left foot across the body to start with Stamping four times to work from right to left, rocking back onto the right foot each time, but not on the final one. So we get one, two, three, four, keep the weight on, then right foot back for four single steps. Polka to face front and stamp on the left foot, putting the weight onto it, ready to go to the right. So exactly the same as the first half, but this time it's right, left, right, left, stamp, right, 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 left foot back for single steps, left, right, polka to face front, stamp, right. Your weight is now on the right foot, ready to start left footed for the chorus. The hand movements for this figure are extremely simple. They start down from the step up, keep them down for the stamps at the end, and then they come up both at the same time on the first single step as you go backwards. Keep them up for the polka as you turn to face front and they come down on the stamp. Again to the right, keep them down. They stay down for the stamps. Come up on the first single step back. Keep them up for the polka and down on the stamp ready for the chorus. Figure number three is West Breton, using steps and moves from a dance of the same name, unusual in that it is danced to a tune in 9-8 time signature. The shape of the dance is to dance out along a 45 degree diagonal to your left and then back along the same line. The figure is a four bar sequence repeated four times, twice off the left foot and twice off the right foot. So we'll analyse a left foot version of the sequence very slowly before putting it all together into the figure. So it starts by stepping diagonally left and then scrape the other foot along the floor to meet the first one, making as much noise as possible. And then step onto this other leg, 
and then hop. Now go straight into a polka, which turns you 90 degrees to your left. And then finish with another hop, trying as hard as you can to keep your balance. So I'll bring myself back to where we started and we'll go through the whole of the figure at half speed. Step left, slide right, step right, hop right, polka to turn left, hop left. Step right, slide left, step left, hop left, polka to turn left and hop. Coming back the other way, step left, slide right, step right, hop right, polka to turn left and hop left. Back to play, step right, slide left, step left, hop left, polka to turn left and hop. And you're ready to start the next chorus. As you will have noticed, the hands are extremely simple and just stay held together behind your back all the way through the figure. Figure number four is Royton, named after a dance performed by the Newcastle Kingsmen. It has a slightly complicated stepping sequence, so we'll look at that in detail first. Following the chorus, your weight's on your right foot with the left foot in the air. You now hop five times on your right foot to place your left foot in different positions. First it's out to the left behind, then across behind, out in front to the left, across in front, and in front to the left again. This stepping sequence now repeats, but with your weight on your left foot instead. So to get it there, you do a change. So leaping off your right foot to bring your left foot underneath you and your right foot behind for the first tap. You now repeat the hopping and tapping sequence, this time keeping your weight on your left foot. So you've already got your right foot behind from the change of feet. So now it's hop and right foot behind, across, in front, across in front, and in front again. There's now a step hop sequence to turn you 180 degrees and face behind you. Starting with a change onto the right foot, and a hop, kicking your left foot up, change onto your left foot, and hop with a right kick, change back to your right foot, kick with the left foot, change back to your left foot, kick with the right foot. Now your weight's on your left foot, all ready to do the sequence again, but starting right foot going behind. So let's put the whole of the right and figure together at half speed. So you start with your weight on your right foot following the chorus, and then it's hop to put your left foot behind, across, in front, across, in front, right behind, across, in front, across, in front, then step right, hop, left, hop, right, hop, left, hop, and start again with the right foot behind, across, in front, across, in front, change, behind, across, in front, across, in front, step left and hop, right and hop, left and hop, right and hop. And your weight's on the right foot all ready for the next chorus. Now, as you can see, the hands are very simple. They're just put casually out to the side, sticks held vertical and kept there for the whole figure. Figure number five is slow sidestep. It has its origins in a number of different dancers, but you might spot a Prescott turn at the end of each half. For this figure, you're traveling sideways to your left and then back to the right to place. So the sequence of steps is step onto your left foot, bring the right foot to it and put your weight on it. Step left again, bring your right foot to it again. Turn by the left shoulder with four steps, left, right, left, right. Step left and kick forwards back and forwards, ready to go the other direction, stepping right, left foot up to it, step right again, left foot up to it, this time turn by the right shoulder with four steps, right, left, right, left, step right, kick forwards, kick back and kick forwards, and your weight's on your right foot, ready for the next chorus. There are only two hand positions in the figure, on the side steps, your hands are held to your stomach with the sticks vertical. And for the turns and kicks, one hand is held up and it's the same hand as the shoulder that you're going to turn by. 
and we're just left with the last figure, which according to tradition is called final figure. The shape of the figure is that you're going to move in three different directions, 45 degrees on the left hand diagonal and back, 45 degrees on the right hand diagonal and back, and then straight forwards and back, and then stay on the spot. The stepping for the figure is repeated three times, once in each of the directions, and consists of three single steps, a step, and two polkas. And we'll look at that now with the video. So here we have three single steps out to the left diagonal and the final step to launch you backwards for two polkas back to where you started. Then a little hop to launch you into the single steps out in the right hand direction. The step to launch you back with the polkas. And the little hop to launch you into going forwards. The last step to launch you back with two polkas. And then you have half of the chorus on the spot. So now to look at the arm movements. Both arms stay down for the single steps forward and come up with the first polka backwards. Down again for the single steps. And up for the first polka backwards. Down again for the single steps. Up again for the first polka backwards. And then normal chorus hands across out, across, up, down, down, up, and out to finish. 